All right, got the top notched and I'm ready to go put it in place and check the fitment of it. I didn't take the camera up there with me, but fits great. Only thing I need to do is make this notch right here slightly deeper because this side right here did not line up where I wanted it to on the family room side of the notch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change that notch slightly and then go ahead and start on the poplar edge banding that goes around this. All right, the top is all glued up. Notch is cut, all that good stuff. Looking awesome. So what I'm gonna do with this is let it sit for a while. It's kind of mid-afternoon right now, and I will, it's actually relatively uh, comfortable outside. It's probably in the mid-50s right now. It's at least short sleeve weather. Uh, and I'm gonna move, I'll let this sit out here for a little bit, just help it dry out fine while it's, you know, relatively warm. And then I will move it into the basement and at some point this evening and go ahead and fill all of the, you know, little holes, um, various things like anything that needs filling with uh, standable wood putty and then let that dry overnight. I will go ahead and go test fit it before that. Uh, I'm actually about to use a laser and get the top of the wall where it's gonna sit, you know, nice and flat and level and everything. And then also go ahead and install the brackets that will help support it as well. So that I can just go drop that thing in there and test fit it one more time before I do the sanding and staining tomorrow. And that's gonna be probably as far as we get uh, for today. So I'll check back in on that in a little bit. You okay? Yeah. like a glove. Wow, Taylor. That looks really good. Order up. Order up. What would you like to order? <sighs> yeah. Something smoked. That looks really cool. Aren't you guys right now? No, not yet. It's not done. This is just a test fit. It pretty much fits. Pretty much fits. Got that sucker all sanded. Started early this morning and then I had to actually go to work for a little bit. So back and it's around lunchtime. Got it all wrapped up. And I'm gonna go upstairs and grab the stain stuff. We did some stain samples on the lower piece of the top uh, earlier this morning. So my wife could pick the color she wanted. That is, that is the next step, staining this sucker. I think my wife did a good job picking the color. So we went with Old Masters color is provincial. And this is a wiping stain, as you can see. 
So that's why you saw me apply it really heavy and let it sit for a while and you're because that's what you're actually supposed to do with it. You wipe it on, you apply it, and then you let it sit for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then you come back and wipe it off, wipe off all the excess that allows it to penetrate a little bit and you get a little bit better color uh, that way. So it is mid-afternoon. We're going to let this dry through the end of the day and overnight which will get us past, uh, it's about an eight, they, they recommend waiting at least eight hours before you apply any kind of a finish over top of it. So we'll be, we'll be closer to the 12 plus, uh, maybe even more uh, before I actually start applying the finish on it tomorrow morning. So we're gonna let it sit here for a while and I'm gonna keep working on other things. Some of the rest of the things I need to do is I'm down to just these two pieces for the inside. This, these are the jam legs, or this is the jam leg that I'm gonna cut into two pieces and prime and this is essentially a crown backer piece that will go around that one by 12 that's covering up the beam because it's too low for the ground to actually catch it so i'm gonna you know kind of build it up a little bit to, so the ground will catch it and then that's going to be it for today and i'll keep going on stuff tomorrow Alright, so after that hand sanding coat you just saw me do, that was sanding after the second coat of finish. And it I am no master at this, uh, and I am a little I'm getting my a little bit pickier about the look of this one just because it's it's gonna be kind of a feature piece in the kitchen. Um, and there was a lot of little imperfections, primarily from the first coat, I think. I'm using a natural bristle brush like the uh, can of finish says too, so I don't know where those are coming from But I didn't I don't think I knocked them down enough after the first and second coats of sanding So I actually broke out that sander again real quick with some 320 grit on it And I sanded the entire thing again a little bit more thoroughly uh, actually a lot more thoroughly And was able to knock down and hopefully you can still see some of them um, like those little places where there's kind of like circles like highlighted circles those are basically what's happening as i'm sanding around some of those like higher imperfections but those are lower down this whole thing is not perfectly flat it was a pre a pre-made you know piece of wood and i'm i'm no master woodworker i'm just trying to make a little bar top for my kitchen so doing the best i can but i hit that i hit that really good with that 320 grit on the rotary sander and then I wiped, I'm wiping down uh, with a rag soaked in mineral spirits in between coats. Uh, read that that was the best way to get the dust off and kind of prepare the surface for the next follow on coat. So I will, you know, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit for one, like let the mineral spirits kind of dry off. And then the Packers game is also coming on in four minutes. So I gotta run upstairs and watch that. And I'll probably come down here on halftime and put the uh, put the third coat on here and see if it does any better than the first two did. All right, my Packers just wrapped up an absolute beat down on the Vikings. So let's go ahead and get that third coat of finish on here. Starting to look pretty good. 
Hopefully you guys can see in the glare. I think there's fewer of those imperfections now than there were the first time, first and second times around. So hopefully some of that, some of that sanding is making a difference. Um, and I'll try to do a little bit better sand after this one dries tomorrow before I keep going. I think that was probably the mistake I made between the first and second coats was not sanding enough, you know, after the first coat before I applied the second coat, which is why I had to go a little bit harder on the sand after that second coat. So we'll see. Like I said, I, I have done a lot of staining and finishing of various things before. I built a few pieces of furniture uh, around the house. Nothing crazy like some little, you know, toy chests and stuff like that. Uh, I refinished a few tables, but lots, lots of little things at work, um, like transition strips and some things like that. But nothing like this that's literally going to be the feature piece in our kitchen. So I wanted it to look good. So I'm doing my best. But uh, anyway, that is that is it for tonight. We'll be back for more tomorrow. All right, she's done. Finally, I've lost track of how many coats I've put on this thing. There's been a few few rounds of sanding and recoating that I didn't bother filming because I felt like it was getting a little repetitive but I think I've gotten it as good as I can get it and for something that's not going to be permanent anyway I'm happy with it so it's time to go install it. It's a lot lighter now that it's only you know half of it instead of like it was now. It didn't sound good. Uh, I gotta... It'll fit. It should fit. It fit before. It's a warmer day than it was before. There we go. It was, a, it was a cold day last time. There we go. Maybe the wood had shrunk. So shiny. So shiny. You like it? Oh yeah, I do. Wow, it's super shiny. I got rid of some of the bumps, but it's not perfect. But it's it's awesome. It'll hold up, I think. It's awesome. It looks so good. Wow, <laughs> I it's, I love it. Nice. Looks so cool. So now the top's finally on. I can screw. I'm gonna screw up through that support layer. And then I can finally trim out the rest of the opening. And it looks great from this angle too. Nice. Looks really good. Awesome. Well, there it is. New bar top is all done. And probably gonna go ahead and end the video here. It's probably, again, drug on longer than I intended it to because this took longer than I intended for it to take. So I will uh, probably continue, either if not the next video, then, you know, coming up soon. Uh, there's obviously more to do about to finish the rest of the trim. There's some painting and stuff. We're gonna paint this entire space, the kitchen, the family room, the hallway, the stairwell, the whole, the whole nine yards, so. That'll be enough stuff to kind of finish out this project in the second video, I think. So until then, see you guys on the next one.